Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna sit down and chit chat. I get a lot of questions from my friends and some family members asking me what products they should use and what order they should be applied. These are all valid questions, but they ultimately boil down to your hair type, your texture, the density, all that stuff plays a huge part and most times especially for newly naturals because they're trying to figure out what works for their hair they end up buying too many products and half of the time the products don't even work they don't even like them and then we just end up spending way too much money so today I'm going to break it down to the bare essential products that every natural most naturals I don't want to say every but most natural need to build a healthy flourishing hair care regimen. So let's get right into it. The first product that you'll absolutely need is a moisturizing shampoo. So try to find a product that will cleanse your hair and your scalp but leave it hydrated as well. I know some people who only shampoo their hair once a month. I know some people who shampoo their hair every other week. That's me. Some people do it weekly. My advice is just is to just listen to your hair because you don't want to shampoo your hair if it doesn't need to be shampooed you know if it's still feeling moisturized if your scalp isn't itchy if it's not dry if you're not seeing any flakes then just leave your hair alone I'll recommend some of my favorite ones down below so make sure you check the description box for products that I would recommend that work for my hair and hopefully it'll work for yours but you don't want to wait too long to the point where your hair is dry to shampoo your hair either so yeah keep that in mind so the second product I would recommend is a clarifying shampoo this is different than a moisturizing shampoo obviously um, because these are the shampoos that are going to strip your hair and your scalp this is for the times when you have a lot of product built up your hair is cookie maybe right before you want to flat iron your hair or things like that then I would recommend doing a clarifying shampoo just to refresh and reboot your hair this helps if you feel like your hair isn't absorbing um, products like it used to if your moisturizers aren't working as well as they used to that's probably a sign that your hair needs a deep cleanse clarifying is probably something that I only do once a month because I'm trying to keep hydration in my hair as much as possible but it's definitely a good product to have in your arsenal you know just for those moments where your hair just needs a extra deep cleanse so the third product that you most definitely will need Hands down, must, required, mandatory, all of that is a deep conditioner. Now, I deep condition my hair every single time I wash it. I never skip deep conditioning my hair. Out of all the products that are in the natural hair care market, deep conditioners is where I spent the most amount of money because I just love deep conditioners and I always want to try a new one. And anyway, um... <laughs> What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so there's two types of deep conditioner. There are moisturizing deep conditioners and there are strengthening deep conditioners. Now, try to find a deep conditioner with um, strengthening and moisturizing properties so you're getting the best of both worlds and you don't really have to buy two separate, you know, deep conditioners. One for protein strengthening and one for moisturizing. Just find one that does both so you can spend less money. But definitely deep condition your hair like it's a must and the fourth product that I highly recommend is a leave-in conditioner this is something that I skipped out on for a little bit because I felt like oh um, you don't really need a leave-in conditioner well I usually put a leave-in in my hair um, right after I rinse my deep conditioner out then I put a leave-in in my hair but for some reason I just didn't repurchase one for a while after I finished the one that I was using because I felt like it wasn't really doing anything like yeah it felt nice at the time but but I didn't feel like it was adding to the longevity of moisture in my hair but it wasn't until I stopped using it because I thought I didn't need it anymore that I realized that my hair was getting dry a lot faster than it was when I was using uh, leave-in conditioners there are a lot of different types of leave-in conditioners depending on your hair type that will help you decide which ones will work for your hair there are lighter um, leave-in conditioners that come in spray form so if your hair is really fine 
or it gets weighed down easily then I would recommend like a spray form but if your hair is um, thick then you probably would like um, a leave-in conditioner that has a creamier consistency that's what I like personally but depending on your thickness of hair will will ultimately determine what kind of leave-in works for you the fifth product that you will probably need is a moisturizer obviously moisturizers can double as a styler as well so it depends on what styles you like for me most times I'm doing a twist out or I'm putting my hair into a bun pretty much like that's pretty much all I really do with my hair yeah try to find a moisturizer that has some hold if you like to style your hair but if not if you're like someone that just slicks their hair back then it doesn't matter really just find one that's moisturizing make sure that the first ingredient is water because water is what moisturizes our hair and <laughs> that's what we need so a moisturizer is a must and lastly is an oil to seal in the moisture that you put in your hair once again oils are very very different depending on which one you use olive oil seems to be like the middle ground like it's not the heaviest but it's not the lightest either so I would recommend I guess to start there um, some lighter oils almond oil is really nice grapeseed oil is really nice my hair and my skin loves grapeseed oil um, that one's pretty light castor oil is heavy I know some people that use that I don't really I use castor oil on my scalp but not necessarily to seal in my hair it depends. It depends on if I'm doing a protective style, then I will do it because it's heavier. I figure out what you like. I really like jojoba oil as well. I can't think of anything else. If there was a product that you feel like is an essential that I possibly have skipped or missed out on, definitely leave it in the comment section below to help other fellow naturals out there who are, you know, trying to not be product junkies. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!